Daily Broadside Day 368. I think I've figured out a life hack for people that don't want to pay the exorbitant prices that new car manufacturers are charging for new vehicles. About a year and some change ago, I purchased a 1996 Mystic Cobra Mustang with 12,000 original miles. Absolutely immaculate. It's like going back in time and buying a brand new Cobra. And I flew up to Chicago. I drove it back sight unseen. It hasn't been an issue. It's just brand new. And I was thinking the other week, I was like, you know, I paid in the upper 220s for that thing, right? And you can't get a car for $25,000, $26,000 these days unless it's like a low-end Kia Rio or some, you know, some piece of crap car that nobody really wants. It's going to fall apart in a couple years. So why don't you go on some of these auction sites and go back and buy a 2001 Honda Accord Limited, fully loaded with 40,000 original miles on it. You pay, an, uh, you know, you pay a premium, 23, 24,000 for something like that maybe. But guess what? You just step back in time and as long as the seals are good and it's been maintained, you just bought a brand new car. Because I got a brand new car at my house. It just happens to be 27 years old. So food for thought, stop buying $48,000 brand new cars and buy $26,000 used cars. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you've heard Biden telling this story. So he's told it many, many times. He was telling it the other day. He's talking about how when he was a junior in high school, and he was laying there one night and his dad's headboard bumped up to his wall. And he's like, I could tell my dad was restless. I just kept hearing the bed hit the wall. And, uh, and so the next morning I'm sitting in the kitchen and I was like, Mom, what's up with Dad? He's, you know, he's, it's true story, it's true story. You know, being all serious and silent. He's like, and she's like, Joey, we lost the insurance. He doesn't know how he's going to pay for the insurance and all this. And I want to be like, now Joey would have been 17 at the time. And Joey didn't know that his parents were next door knocking boots. My parents lost their insurance two or three times a week as far as I know. Uh... I mean, who told him later? In, apparently nobody's told him because he's still, still telling this dumb story into his 80s that his parents lost their insurance and his dad was just tossing and turning, just banging that headboard. You know what I mean? Tossing and turning. The four, no, I'm going to say the three. I never watched professional wrestling except for when I was a real young kid. I watched the NWA back in like the 80s for about three years, but I think I phased out of that in about 87, 88. But the three best physiques, steroids or not, I don't care, you know, uh, in my opinion, is Nikita Koloff, uh, the, what's the guy, Goldberg, and Animal. Uh, not Animal, I'm sorry, Animal is a short, fat one. Hawk, the tall, skinny, built one, right? Those, in my opinion, are the quintessential wrestling uh, physiques. But here's the deal, right? Wouldn't it be awesome if everybody in America just started dosing steroids? And we got to see how big everybody's potential. Because maybe Ronnie Coleman and Arnold Schwarzenegger, maybe they're not the biggest. Maybe Arnold's chest isn't the best in history, right? I mean, what if it's Arnold from down the street that runs? Uh, he, you know, he fills prescriptions at the at the uh, apothecary downtown, and now he's all jacked up on roids, and everybody's able to show off what their ultimate creation would be. It would be interesting to see what we would all become if we could become what we could become. Good day.